Gail, just uh, what was your uh, kind of summary of how the offensive line performed today? Um, you know, we got a couple guys down, but overall we did pretty good today. Got a good communication up front. Was able to get some good things going up front, you know. Had a couple of bad plays in here and there, but nothing we can't fix up with this evening in the meetings. Who's been taking reps at center this week? Bryce Ramsey. Are, are you taking any reps at center as well? Just as Unlane Lane mentioned, we asked him about your versatility and everything, and you took most of the first reps in the spring. Yes, sir. I'm taking uh, guard and center reps this, this fall camp. Just being ready to play both for – if anyone goes down, just the extra tool that the offense can use. How do you feel about the depth on the offensive line in general? I feel good about it, but, you know, there's always room to improve in this league, you know. Um, we got guys developing, and we've had guys come a long way in these last two weeks of fall camp. For you kind of going into a, a second year as a, as a full-time starter, what did you learn last year getting those reps that you're taking with you to this year? Uh, the speed of the game, you know, is, is so much different at this level. And overall, my my technique has fi been fine-tuned a lot from the spring, you know, my speed of the game, being more twitchy and stuff out of my stance, just uh, having a better picture of, the, like, the defense and the game itself. Caleb, Orlando Amano was a, a very late addition to this team, I think first of July. Um, just how has he fit in up there? Because obviously it looks like he's going to be counted on to, to be the number one center when he gets back in the line. Yes, sir. Uh, he's been a really good uh, asset to the offensive line, and uh, he's, done, he's done really good for us this fall camp. We look forward to having a great season with him. How would you describe the identity of this offensive line? Like, what what is the personality that kind of you five share? Tough, physical. You know, we'll get after you. Uh, play in and play out every drive, every game, and want to be the most physical unit on the field, and go out and dominate every game. Everybody wants to talk about <clears throat> Matt Corral in, in the passing game, but you guys have to be pretty excited about what you can do in the running game, yeah? Yes, sir. We're definitely excited. You know, returning four starters. You know. Like the ACC in Russian last year, just looking forward to having a great year. In your mind, what are the expectations for this offense? High. Do you want to elaborate? I mean, just looking forward, you know, lost a great player in Elijah Moore, you know, Royce Newman, they were both great players, but we got a lot of returners, you know, and a lot of depth, a lot of experience. We look forward to having a really fun season. It seems like Everyone wants to talk about the fact Elijah is not going to be on this team this year. But you bring up Royce Newman, who is right now projected to start for the Green Bay Packers this season as a rookie. How much are you guys going to miss him? And how well of a job is Jeremy James doing trying to fill that void? You know, Jeremy, he's a, he played guard last year, but he was originally a tackle. So he's just getting back in his groove, you know. And uh, he says, you know, he's doing, he's doing pretty well this fall camp. You know, losing Royce, you know, he's a great player, but I feel like we'll be able to fill that void pretty good.